Hey buddies, Summit's guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're going to teach you about Lost Cities, and we're going to try and do it as spoiler-free as possible. I personally wanted to go into the Lost Cities completely blind and have that experience just completely raw, uh, and it was it was quite interesting for sure. Um, for those of you that might want to be a little bit more prepared but still avoid as many spoilers as possible, this video is going to be for you. We're going to talk about the mentality, the gear the enchantments, uh, and just kind of what you're going to want to have prepared before you go into the Lost Cities for the first time. We're not going to show you the mobs or give you too much detail. We're going to leave as much of the wonder and mystery and terror uh, as possible to you guys to experience. So, firstly, uh, let's talk about armor. Now, I actually went in, you know, golem armor would be great if you have golem armor, of course, but I went in with dragon armor, fully enchanted dragon armor, uh, I have done a best armor enchantments guide, so if you'd like further, uh, you know, further detail on that, you can go check that out. But fully enchanted dragon armor, I've survived and haven't died in there yet. So in terms of baubles, you won't have the wrath pendant, of course. Um, but you know, any set of end game baubles, you know, you want an onk shield, but any set of end game baubles that's good, maybe rings of resistance or regeneration, whatever the case may be, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy. I would just make sure that you've uh, reforged it for undying and hardy or menacing. Hardy uh, will give you obviously plus one heart. Menacing gives you plus eight percent attack damage. Both are very good. Undying is just absolutely phenomenal in terms of equality for baubles. So make sure you've reforged all your baubles for undying, hardy or menacing qualities and traits. Now there is one thing that I'm gonna have to that I'm gonna have to lightly spoil because you just simply wouldn't be prepared um, if I weren't to mention this at least lightly, and that is that there is a fear effect. Not this, not the fear effect that makes you lose ability of your character, control of your character, like the like knight fear effect. Um, this fear effect comes in two levels: fear two and fear three. Fear two stops you from interacting. Uh, stops you from using anything with your right click except interacting with blocks and like picking like interacting with things like picking up items um, Fear level three will completely stop you using any right click whatsoever eating potions bows picking up items off the floor Opening chests, etc. Fear two and three are gained uh, by being within a certain proximity certain vicinity of, uh, of a couple of different mobs in the Lost Cities. You'll figure that out on your own as you go through there, um, but just know that that exists and will stop you using right click. So that's quite that's quite an important thing, that you can't warp scroll out if you're feared because you can't right click, etc, etc, etc. So bear in mind, be careful with that. That's quite a dangerous situation. Um, because of that, sticky mobs can be even worse. You know, if, you, if, you're, if a sticky mob, a sticky infernal, yeets your weapon out of your hand and you gotta try and pick it up, you can't necessarily do it with right click if you're feared, so you gotta crouch pick it up. Um, so again, stickies can be really dangerous in the Lost City. Be careful of infernal mobs, be careful of potential stickies, etc. There's a lot of cobwebs, and honestly, getting stuck in a cobweb in the Lost City when you're in a bad situation, death. That is a death situation. Bring something to deal with cobwebs. Bring yourself, even if you're not using a sword, I myself is using a pike, we'll talk about weapons in a second. Um, but even if you're not using a sword, uh, bring a sword with you. Maybe leave it in your tool belt. You can put a sword in your tool belt um, so that you can, you know, you can put things in your tool belt, right? So you can put a sword in your tool belt and you can just have it. Or just, honestly, I'd leave it in your hotbar because you want to access it quickly uh, to break cobwebs if you get in a sticky, sticky situation. Uh, Lifesteal is king, man. Lifesteal is king. The mobs in there hit like a truck. They hit real hard. But if you've got a good, a lot, you will also hit, you hit harder. You hit even more like a truck. And if you have lifesteal, you'll be able to su survive okay. So again, if you're getting in trouble, don't panic. You know, make sure you land your blows, land your hits, get your lifesteal. That will save you. It, it genuinely, not panicking and making sure you make use of lifesteal will save your ass. Seriously. In terms of the weapons, I've seen a bunch of different weapons. It, again, weapons are really balanced at the moment. It can, you can pretty much use any weapon you want as long as you're, you know, being careful and, and intelligent uh, with your playstyle. However, um, don't necessarily the, focus too much on the enchantments there. The enchantments aren't what we're looking at. The pike, the pike is a really good choice because it has the longest reach in the game by default. It has reach two, so it's got a really long range. This can be further improved with like the ring of reach or a potion of reach, etc. Reach is actually really valuable in the Lost Cities, you know, keeping your distance. 
So a pike is a really good choice, but it's not the only option by any means. One thing I do want to mention with regards to enchantments, though, is Levitator and Flinging, along with Arc Slash. But Levitator and Flinging are really good in the Lost Cities. They, they throw mobs up in the air and have them levitate sort of slowly and float upwards when you hit them. And buying an extra second or two, you know, every time you hit a mob to let you focus on the other one that's closer or, you know, finish it off without being in trouble can be really good. So Levitator and Flinging are actually really good enchantments for the Lost Cities. Another really light spoiler, I'm not going to tell you why or necessarily, you know, uh, too much detail. Be scared of Enderman. Be scared of Enderman, okay? Um, and laugh, lastly, before you go out there, make sure you buff up. I've done a couple of videos on how to buff up. Uh, I've done a food video which talks about the different buffs you can gain from food. I've done wine videos which shows you how to gain the most value from your buffs whether it be food or otherwise. But yeah, you know, you want to make sure you're fully buffed up. Grab yourself a battle burrito, maybe an explorer's risotto. Drink a couple of bottles of wild berry wine to max out the level of those enchantment uh, buffs. And then drink uh, and bring a large supply of additional wine, regular wine, to increase the duration of those buffs. So you can be uber buffed the whole time in, your, in the Lost Cities. Because uh, yeah, that, that's going to definitely be the difference between being quite comfortable and surviving easily and being in a really butt cheek clenching, <laughs> tense, terrifying situations. Um, yeah, I've done food guides, I've done wine guides. Check them out on the channel if you want to see how you get all these buffs and increase duration and details, etc, etc. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I will be doing more in-depth Lost City guides, different builds that you can do, easy ways to loot the Lost City, more in-depth things to do with Lost City, but this was specifically to be as spoiler-free as possible. Um, I go live on my Twitch channel. We have an SMP server that I run from that Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy. If you want to join us on the SMP server, you'd be welcome to do so. You have to just join the Twitch channel, earn 3,000 channel points, and unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.